What is up, Sideways fam? I got a special treat for you guys today. Something a little off topic that we don't typically show here at the shop since we are a Jay-Z shop and a super shop, as you can see behind me. So today I'm gonna be doing something kind of special. I'm gonna be showing you one of my personal vehicles that I brought out of my garage, just to be able to kind of show and share with you guys. Um, I had it for about three years, and I think it's gonna kind of turn everybody's heads because it wouldn't be something that everybody would normally expect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera and show you what's up. So let's get around the corner right here. Let's see what I got for you guys. So, as different as it is, and you wouldn't expect me to have this, this is my C5 Z06 Corvette. I've had this car, like I said, for about three years. It's heavily, heavily modified. Huge cam, CNC ported heads, Vortec Pro Charger. I mean, <laughs> valve springs and retainers, port and polished head, twin plate clutch. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I'll go over some of those mod lists a little bit more in depth when I flip the camera and I'm showing you the bay. But I'm gonna go ahead and be basically showing you my car, going around, showing you some really, really cool things about this vehicle. Cause this is actually a 50th anniversary black on black edition. Really very, very rare version of this vehicle that you typically wouldn't find. I mean, there's a lot of really cool things I love about this car too that are kind of for the era. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera, as I said, and show you what's up. So in the back, we've got the full Borla exhaust. And that's like headers all the way back. Super, super nicely done. There's that 50th anniversary edition badge that you can see on the back. The sun's kind of in the camera. So I'm gonna do my best to block it because it is kind of early and kind of warm today. So. Definitely not a car that you typically would think that I would have, but I mean, such a cool car. I remember when I was younger, I always wanted one of these. The thing is just slammed, 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 slammed on the floor. I haven't really modified the body very much, only because, I don't know, I just kind of like the sleek and OEM look. It's kind of sleeper and everything too. Since I'm, since I'm parked over here close to the wall, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just come this way to show you. There's that beautiful, Z06, you know, factory 405 horsepower badge. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the car and show you some of the cool features about this thing too. So, first of all, as I said, it's all black on black. You know, what I love about this thing is you got the Corvette, you know, on the steering wheel. You got the old school kind of Chevy, oh shit handle, like, oh, hang on, you know, hang on, shut up kind of thing when you're going. You got the Z06 and the headrests. Another awesome thing, you got that Z06 little thing in the back right there. Little area to store all your stuff with my other Montana plate, excuse me. Um, the other cool thing is, is, is these cars actually are HUD, which if you don't know what that is, it's, it's called a HUD system, heads up display. Out of here, it projects onto the dash, your, your tack and your speedometer. It's all kind of displayed there for at night when you're racing, you're not stuck, you know, looking at the cluster, you can kind of see everything there. Uh, you can actually go in here and kind of custom module, modulate whatever you want to say on here. You can have oil, oil pressure, water temp, a bunch of cool things too. Um, so, I mean, inside, I mean, as, as kind of funny as it is, cause I have, a, I have a Chevy Tahoe too that we used to use for towing and stuff, I mean, it's kind of all the same as like the old Tahoes and stuff because all kind of the same year, you know, 02, 03, you know, around that area. So, you know, got the nice C5, if I can get it into frame. Just does not want to come out, interesting. There you go, nice little C5 shifter. But I mean, all in all, interior is very stock. The trunks in these are actually pretty big. I didn't think it was gonna be like that at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and show you all the goodies underneath. Another super cool thing about these is you pop the hood and they open up like this. So let's kind of go over this real quick. So intake manifold has been upgraded to some other version of the LS one. I'm not really sure. I don't really remember what ended up being done there. You got the nice Vortec Pro Charger right here. Pretty big. Um, got the Turbo Spark blow off valve on there with you know some custom intercooler piping that was done aluminum radiator with some small fans uh, you got aftermarket top mount fuel rails with i believe their thousand cc injectors uh, basically already ready for e85 so as far as the 
the other mods. I mean, the car made the 650 and about 600 torque. As I said, it has long tube headers. You can kind of see that right there. MSD wires, um, the full stainless, you know, three inch exhaust the whole way back to the Borla. We have a comp cam, the jam cam blower kit with TI springs and retainers. It's got a port flow done head uh, where it's been port and polished, you know, uh, CNC ported on all the, all the angles of the head. I mean, ACT twin plate. So, I mean, just, this is the V2 blower kit. So on this, you know, if anybody wants to ask, I mean, we've got the throttle body spacer, you can see it there too. I mean, this is all pretty common for anybody who's rocking an LS on this stuff. I mean, so nothing crazy, crazily abnormal. I might upgrade the intake manifold to like a full, you know, even bigger ported stainless, big ass crazy one to make a little bit more power. Cause I am planning on putting this car on E85 and kind of seeing what it's going to do. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just looks so crazy with a hood up like that. So, I mean, Everybody might not love Corvettes. Everybody might not be a really big LS person. Obviously, this is like a super channel, but it's just one of my cars that, you know, I built a couple years back that I just kind of hung on to because at one point we were planning on going to LSs at this shop when we were back in our drift days and, you know, just kind of trying to find other options for customers. With the rising prices of Jay-Z, it also almost seems like this might be an option for a lot of the other people who don't have the money to build Supras and their stuff. So, I mean, I personally don't advertise this, that, that we do this or the tuning of this or any of that stuff. Cause there's just too many shops that do it. And I'm going to kind of just stay in my lane, but like, this is a really cool, just like little cool kind of like little trophy that I have that I, I just kind of keep in the garage. Yeah. It needs some attention. It needs to be detailed and a couple other things. And you know, I'll probably get some, better drag radials in the rear once we go to the E85. And I almost thought maybe I even, maybe even go carbon fiber hood because the hood is a little oxidized, but all in all, I'm very proud of my car. Uh, I'm hoping to get my buddy Drew to do a little overview of the car and give it a drive because she is astronomically fast. Um, my Supra is fast, you know, the car makes 600, 650 horsepower on my 1.5J and my other Supra does about a little under 600 horsepower too, but I mean, the, just the torque of this engine, you know, there's no replacement for displacement. I'm not a V8, you know, America, Super Super America head, but I do love my Corvettes. I'm sure at some point I'll end up buying a C6 or something else as well, because I mean, I do love these cars along with a little other, a couple other domestic cars too. I am a diehard JDM guy, so by no means, you know, don't think that I'm all of a sudden just giving up on Supras. That, that That's pretty much never gonna happen. So it's kind of funny though, because I'm talking and I'm showing you my car. So let me put the camera. As crazy as that is, that's the idle in the car, all that shake. So if I go here and I just set you down. You kind of get the vibration in it, but it just sounds gnarly. So this is gonna pretty much conclude my video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to share something that was kind of, you know, a little trophy to me of like, kind of something that I was able to achieve. Obviously, nothing too crazy. I didn't buy some brand new Lamborghini or anything like that, but I have had this car for a long time. Uh, I am planning on doing some more mods to this. I got a event we're gonna be doing this weekend with this car. We're gonna be shooting with, with Drew Peacock and a couple of my other friends that have channels with their exotic builds. Uh, I believe he's gonna be taking the McLaren out with me. So maybe we'll be racing the McLaren. Maybe we'll be doing some racing up in uh, 
Angela's Crest. But I mean, just wanted to share, share this thing with you. I mean, once again, I'm not telling you I'm not gonna be stop doing Supras. I'm not saying that I'm gonna be changing the, the way that I do my business at all. This is just something that I have personally that was something different that I, I you know, acquired and was building and wanted to kind of share with you guys. So thanks for watching and uh, appreciate you guys, man.